Hi, this is Marty with StampWithMarty.com and I'm here today with another tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to turn your stamp brush sets into punches. Um, just like this bunny punch on this baby announcement. Any of your SVG type stamp brush sets can become punches. The solid stamp brush sets are going to work the best. And if you have a stamp set that's not an SVG, um, there is a way to make that into a punch also, and I can show you that in the next video tutorial. But for today, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to locate the program files for my digital studio on your hard drive. And I'm working on a PC. I'm working in Windows 8, so things may look a little different to you, but you will find the same basic configuration on your own computer. You have um, the computer you need to look in the C drive and you're um, going to look in your program files, either program files or program files um, x86. In my case it is the x86. So open this folder and I'll scroll down to my digital studio. Now you can do this with the find command on, on your computer and find the location of my digital studio files. Then you want to open your components folder. And let me just tell you that this is so simple and you're not at any risk of um, ruining your software. So don't be afraid of, of trying this step. Open your stamp sets. And the stamp set that I'm using today is called Little Additions and it's a nursery or a, a baby set and I'm going to open it here and you can see that after the name of the stamp there is a dot SVG that tells me that it's uh, uh, the correct type of format for me to make a punch out of it. It also shows over here in the type SVG document. So. The only thing that you have to be very careful of here is that you're going to copy this file. You're not going to move it. So select the file you want. I want the bunny. Right click with your mouse and say uh, copy. Click on your desktop and say and right click and say paste. Now you see you still have the stamp set here and that won't alter anything in your files. Now move up to back to your components folder and pick your punches. I wanted to create my separate custom punches folder inside extras, but you can do that anywhere you want. I do suggest you create a new folder and um, that you keep your custom punches in there. I put mine under extras, custom, and all I have to do is drag my punch or my stamp set, I'm sorry, over here into this folder. Now I've already have a copy in there and so um, it asks me if I want to replace it. You won't no normally see that. It will ask me if I want to do this as an administrator and I will say continue. So now I have the stamp set here in the punches folder and I can use it as a punch. So let me show you how to do that. We'll just close our file manager and open my digital studio and let's start with a new project so I can walk you through this step by step. Pick a card. You want the greeting card four and a quarter by five and a half Create your own. Call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call it It's a Boy. And you can see that I have a blank page here. Notice that there are actually four pages to my card. If you look down in the thumbnails, I'm working on the front of the card. I will close the card bleed area. And I'm going to turn off the bleed area guidelines for right now. I want to start by changing the background color of the card and I'm going to just pick a color 
and I like um, so saffron for this project. That's a little too bright for me. I want to tone it down just a bit at 80% opacity. Then I want to add a layer of um, cardstock. And I will have all of the ingredients for my card listed on my blog if you want to check there and you can download the list. But I'm going to use special delivery subtle paper for this and I want to add as a page layer. So be sure that you check that. It will come in as a box instead of covering the whole page. And I'll stretch it out so it goes right to left. And I want it narrower, so I'm going to squeeze it down a little bit. Then I'm clicking twice on that little strip of cardstock because I want to focus just on these two words, just arrived, and I'll say OK. And this still leaves me a little room to set the bunny in there. The next thing I want to do is add some ribbon as a border. So I'm going to choose embellishments. I'm looking for the grow grain ribbon. Open that. I like to work with the resource palette, but you can also work with the menu selections across the top, and you can work with the design center. Try them all and see what looks works best for you. These are alphabetical, so, so saffron is right down at the bottom. I just drag it. Into my onto my card and create a little frame. I want a drop shadow effect and I'll say OK and then I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. Because I did soften the background color, the ribbon shows up very nicely on this card now as a um, frame for the designer series paper. I know I'm going to want a bow later on, so while I'm here, I'm just going to open up the Grow Green Ribbon Bows, scroll down to Sew Saffron, and pull that over onto my card and let it sit there for a little bit. The next thing I want to do is add the punch. And I browse, and if you remember, I look for extras. And in the extras, I have a folder called Custom, and I open that, and then here are my custom punches. The bunny is teeny tiny down here. Watch how small he is when he comes on my card. But I just need to grab a corner and stretch him out to the size I want him. And I can make him just as large as or leave him that small. And then I want to fill him with paper. So I choose paper fill from the design center. And I'm using the grid paper. I think this comes with MDS 2, uh, 2 plus, and so you should have this on your computer as well. I love the grid and I want the chocolate chip. Now notice the grid is very large. I'd like to make that smaller. So I click twice on the punch. I use the um, zoom buttons to reduce the size until it's pleasing and let go. I want to add a mat. I want to change the color of the mat to this uh, early espresso, which will give it a nice dark uh, border and make it stand out, and then a drop shadow that makes the punch really pop out. Now we can add the ribbon to the bunny. Notice how it goes behind our rabbit, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is, while it's still selected here, we will just right-click and say Bring to Front. Whoops, lost it. Right-click and say Bring to Front. Okay, move the bunny back. Put the ribbon right on top, and. Then I'm going to turn it just a bit more so it's not covering the nose. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow to this ribbon as well. In fact, I'm adding drop shadows to everything and I'm using the default. 
You can make the drop shadow a little darker or a little lighter by changing the settings. Um, I'm also going to add a stamp set. Again, I want to use the Little Additions stamp set. And I will click on it and say Open. Here's the bunny that we made into the punch. Now look at that bear or that little one onesie. What punches those would be? I'm going to drop down here. I want the hearts. And I want it's a boy. Which I'm going to put down here. They're very small, but you can make them much larger. And make them fit your card just the way you want. Um, change the color. And I'm going to use early espresso. I could use chocolate chip as well, but I like this darker. I want the hearts to be red. So I will change them to real red. Give them a drop shadow. Leave the default. I'm going to turn them uh, a little bit. Make them larger and turn them a little bit. And have them set right up here. If I'm going to turn the other way. Yeah. And there's my card, the front of my card. I'll continue to design the inside of the front and the um, third page, which would be the one that has your announcement information, maybe a picture would go in there, and then the back of the card. And then you can send this off to um, Stampin' Up! And have these beautiful little invitations printed. And you're just going to love this. Think of all the possibilities for punches that you now have. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.